Okay, here's the next step in the process. Uh, you remember last time we bent the sides and now what we've done is we've trimmed the sides to the size they need to be and we mated them up in a form and we've got a heel block of wood here at the bottom. We've got a block of wood up here where the neck is going to mount on the guitar and that helps support everything. We've got everything clamped in real tight in the form and uh, we'll leave this to dry overnight and uh, then we'll be able to uh, proceed to the next step of uh, getting the uh, bottom of the guitar glued into place. Before we did this, because this type of wood does have a lot of oil in it, uh, we did use some naphtha and uh, wiped everything down to get rid of that oil. We wanted to make sure we had a good surface for the glue to adhere to. And uh, lots of clamps holding everything in place just so that we know that nothing moves and the uh, uh, guitar holds its shape. The next step in the process, uh, actually before putting the uh, top or the back on, is there's some uh, bracing that will attach to the sides and add uh, wood along the edges. It's called kerfing and that uh, gives us some extra material along the sides to actually glue the top and the back onto. And uh, we'll come back to the workshop with the camera as we apply that. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we've got the, the uh, heel block and the head block uh, glued into place. And what we've done is we've uh, left the uh, we've left the guitar sides in the form and what we've done next is uh, to get the wedge shape of the guitar we've cut away some of the excess material that uh, is on the back of the guitar you see uh, we cut more off the top and that's to give it its wedge shape what we're going to do now is we've got this radius dish and this is for the back of the guitar so it's a 15 foot radius and this has sandpaper uh, coarse sandpaper I believe it's 60 or 80 grit sandpaper and what we're gonna do is where we've got the hole here we're gonna put that over this pipe and that's gonna allow us to sand uh, the correct radius onto the back of the guitar uh, once we've got that all sanded down and smooth and everything's lined up this is the material we're going to use for kerfing. It's going to go around the edge of the guitar and give us a, a larger surface that we'll be able to glue the back onto the sides with. So uh, we'll come back after we do this next step or we may, may, when we're doing some sanding, we may start recording some of that too. some chalk marking around the top edge so as we sand once we get rid of all the chalk marks we know that everything is nice and even this is called driving the bus okay so now the kerfing is glued on uh, you can see it here and it's being held in place with clothespins that we're using as a clamp and uh, those will hold it on, on until the glue dries and then we'll move on with the next step of uh, we'll put the radius dishes back on here and drive the bus again and what that'll do is that'll make sure that all of the kerfing that we've added um, are even with the top of uh, the, both the guitar front and back. 
Okay, so now the uh, kerfing glue is dried and this is what it looks like afterwards. We removed all the clothes pans that we were using for clamps. Then we put the radius dish on it, uh, the 30 foot radius for the front and the 15 foot radius for the back and we drove the bus again and that sanded all of the kerfing down even with the sides that we sanded in the previous step. So now what we've done is put it back in the form and I've cut the side bracing and we've marked on the side with lines where this goes. So we just uh, cut that, cleaned it up a little bit with a rasp and sandpaper and that'll get glued into place uh, all the way around the body and that'll help to um, uh, support the weight uh, or it, it'll just support the guitar all the way around. Um, so now I'm going to start gluing all of those braces on and then we'll come back later on when we do the next step. Okay, here we are at the next step. Um, we've got the side bracing on and we've taken it out of the form and what we're going to do now is glue a wedge into the uh, area to form a graft where the two sides come together and so what we've done is we've uh, drawn lines on here and then cleaned that out with the router bit and I've got a wedge already made up and so that wedge will get glued right into that place right there and uh, make it look nice and neat and give it more stability too. So we'll come back when we do the next start of, uh, or the next step of gluing the back on it.